Hello. <laughs> Don't give me problems today, camera. Hello, hello, hello. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome in to the Blood Still Works. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on in. You no, know, it started off quiet. I was hoping I could find this man of God, Jay Abram, who wrote this song. It's so beautiful. Uh, he uh, he reached out to me and said I prophesied something to him years ago, and this is the result. This is the manifestation of the prophecy. He has a single called You Are. And so we just want to let God know he is mighty. He is holy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are amazing, God. You're wonderful, God. Come on in. Let's give God glory. Let's give God honor. Hallelujah. He's everything to us. I am looking for God to do an amazing and mighty thing tonight. I'm looking for him to do a spectacular thing tonight. I'm expecting him to break strongholds tonight. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He is everything to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on in. Let's give him glory. Let him know he's mighty and he's holy. Yes, he is. He's so righteous. He's so righteous. And the thing about it is that we call him that, but do our, live, do our lives represent what God calls us? Does it? And that's what tonight is about. Are you really ready? Are you ready for him to come back? We honor him with all the love. We honor him. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. I feel God right now. Hallelujah. Glory to him. He is hope. He is almighty. Please share this with your friends, followers, and family tonight. Because we don't even know. You don't know if you're really ready. Hallelujah. You got to really follow the word of the Lord. And sometimes that's, that can be seem so difficult. But I'm here to help you tonight. Don't call me hope for nothing. Hallelujah. Come on in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's my everything. Come on. Let's worship him. He's our everything. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's our everything. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're worthy, God. You're everything to me, God. Yes, 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 yes. So I want to just, I want to get those godly endorphins up and you just give him praise as you come in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's everything to me. He should be everything to you. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Woo! I feel that thing. Oh, God going to do some things tonight. I feel that he's going to do some things tonight. He's going to do some magnificent and miraculous things on tonight. And I am so glad that he loves me. 
I'm so glad that he cares. I'm so glad that he sacrificed his life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. He is mighty and amazing. And I want to praise him before I even get going. I want to honor him before I get started because he got started for me. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your glory. Come on, let's praise him as we in the, enter into the room. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's praise him as we enter into the room. Thank you, Jesus, for your great and greatly to be praised, God. Hallelujah. Oh, you're such a mighty God. Please share this with someone. Are you really ready tonight? Are you really, 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 really ready? Are you really ready? Glory to God. Thank you so much. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just another minute of glory. And we're gonna, and then we're gonna go ahead and tap on into this to the will of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Tap on into the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're gonna tap in to the will of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, you are amazing. God, you are holy. God, you are mighty. God, you are all that. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. So come walk with me. Tonight we're going to do some Bible uh, going through with the Bible. Uh, the, uh, we're going to be walking through the Bible tonight. It's like Bible studies. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that you know that you're encouraged by the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I'm looking at you. I'm going to speak to you. God bless you, Sister Katara. God bless you, daughter Shawana. God bless you. Uh, glory, hallelujah, Deborah. God bless you, woman of God, Kimmy. Uh, God bless you. Oh, gosh, Kimmy, you're going to beat me up. I hear the word evangelist for you. Um, mm. God bless you, Courtney. Hallelujah. I love you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, Drika, God bless you. Uh, my beautiful sister, Diane. God bless you. Sister Charlene. Glory to God. God bless you. Thank you so to, uh, so much, my uh, handsome husband. My chocolate angel, God bless you. My apostolic covering. Yes, we can have boo names for our apostolic covering. Yes, we can. He's such a supporter in the ministry for me. Um, and I honor God for it because there are there is I know a man that doesn't do that. And so I just have to pray that he'll be delivered. So he'll allow his wife to go forth with the word she has in her belly. God bless you, lovely Ashley. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome tonight. Welcome. Come on into the glory with me because I feel God right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Some of us say we love the Lord, but we don't look at our lives. Is it really holy? Do we check ourselves? Is it really holy? When we go, when we finally get into the, before we've gotten into the services and been able to have congregational services did we know that we were we intentional about how we wore what clothes we wore right in jesus name were we intentional hallelujah about where we was going for we say we love god are we intentional about whether or not we are doing things we shouldn't behind the scenes living with people we shouldn't be living with and and things of that nature yes i'm i said it i said it out loud but i want you to be delivered from those things because they're going to get you in trouble at the end of the day. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm just a willing vessel. Glory to God. I'm just a willing vessel to share the goodness and the godliness of who Jesus is. And I have to, to make sure that my life represents that of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pray and then we're going to get into the place and, um, if some toes get hurt, that's okay. Massage them and get back to work. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now, God, for the men and women of God on this live tonight, God, the replay viewers, oh God, that'll come in. Lord, let every ear that uh, hear, let them hear the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound, hallelujah, the anointing of the Father, Jesus Christ. Lord, let them hear it. Let them see a new day, God. Let them see a revelation, God, of anything in their life. God, that they can look a little closer, dig a little deeper, and see if there are things in their life that need to be erased, things in their in their home that need to be thrown in the trash that does not represent God, but may be causing a demonic activity in their home. God, Lord, let them open up their ears to hear, to hear, to hear. Katana Basaya, they hear the Holy Spirit begin to speak to them. Hallelujah! That they are convicted. Hallelujah! That they are convicted. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, by the word of the Lord on tonight, God, hallelujah, the faith, 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 faith without works is dead in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, God, lift me up. Anything that's not like you in me, God, remove it, God. I repent of every sin, God, up and from today until this time, oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and I will be clear, God. Glory, I thank you, Lord. For God, thank you for this word, God, that you are giving on tonight, God, because this is your word, God. I wrote a few words, God, but I want you to be edified, God. In Jesus' holy and righteous name, God, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hello, beautiful sister, Sophia. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you all tonight. I felt God on this word. I felt God on this word tonight. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I love how God, <laughs> he tests me. He tests me so bad. It's like, oh, you know, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. I'm like, Lord, give me something. Give me a prophetic place so I can speak to those who need to be spoken to. Those who have lost their way. Those who don't know the way. Those who need to recheck their lives. I know I make sure I recheck and recheck and recheck my life to make sure that I'm not walking in idolatry. That I'm not walking in things outside of who God is. Yes, beautiful Sophia. Praise God. So I'm getting, you're going to get a word tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So are you really ready? I hear so many people, and this is just before we get into this, because I feel the Lord is saying this, that people say, well, I love God, and I, He's my everything, and I just can't do nothing without Him, and I can breathe, and I can move, and I can shift, and, 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 and um, you know, I could have been dead yesterday, and I had a testimony, you know, from way back, I'm, I'm not that person anymore. Well, when you're true to that, that means your life activates in that. It's more than words. Faith without works is dead. It's more than just saying God is good. He loves that, but what he wants you to do is your life to perform that word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you look back, you'll see and go, all this thing, the next thing you know, somebody made you mad, you stop forgiving, or you, you know, you, you, you're not looking at, like I said, your wardrobe. You shouldn't be um, shacking up with nobody. Uh, you shouldn't be um, being full of hatred, unforgiveness. You know, check yourself. Check yourself. I check me daily to make sure that I'm walking in the path that he's called me to. And I want to encourage you all today, hallelujah, that you will walk in the path that God called you to. That your eyes will be open and you'll seek his face. When you hear me speaking, you don't hear me. You hear the oil and the anointing of which God has placed upon my life. To help get as many of his children into heaven as possible. In Jesus name. Yes, we must be partakers of the word. But not even just partakers, we must be the word. Why? Because he said he created us in his image. So, that brings us to are you ready? This is a call to holiness, 
love, and purity. Tonight, you're going to be purified tonight. Tonight, you're going to look in different lenses. Tonight, the anointing is going to flow so far on you. Tonight, your lenses, you're going to look at something totally different than you did before. You're going to say, well, oh, well, that was a cute piece of jewelry piece. But okay, Lord, what? Revelation. I need you to look up that jewelry piece that you have on. Is it the evil eye? Is it the hamster? Is it the, is it something that is the upside down cross? Is it a sideway cross? Look, look it up. Look it up. We have to be careful for these idols that we're wearing. So we have to be holy. And knowing holiness is, is, is not really wearing clothes up to your neck and down to your ankles. If you wear that, that's fine and beautiful. But don't judge somebody who does. Because you wearing stuff up to your... Mm -hmm, and then you wearing stuff down to your what? That don't make you even... That <laughs> doesn't give you the right to do that. The Bible says you're worried about somebody else when you need to worry about what's in your eye. You worry about the, the plank in somebody's eye and you got a speck in your eye. Where you're out of order. Uh, I hear that all the time. Well, she's not so holy. She got a stuff and turtleneck on and da 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 But she still da da No, don't judge them. You get your life. Because the dress up to your mm-hmm... And then you're down to your, uh, what? And you wear it everywhere? And you wonder why they, the, the, the evil eyes are looking at you and they're looking to devour you because you're giving them something to eat. Mm, glory to God. I don't know who this is for, but I want to bless you. This is a call to holiness. So first Peter, um, we're going to go through the Bible, um, some scriptures that God has had for me. Um, first Peter, for, uh, first chapter, 13th through the 17th verse and then 20th verse. So this is coming from the Passion Translation. And please share this with your people. Please share this with your friends and your family because not a lot of people are preaching holiness and a lot of people are not preaching the truth. They're just giving you, they're glazing over it. Right? They're glazing over that truth. And when you glaze over it, like a glazed donut, it's pretty when you decorate it and you got chocolate on it and you got glazes. You're like, whoo, I'm going to dip in that. But then if you look up the donut, you got about 15,000 calories in it. It looked good while it lasted, but when it hits your belly and, then, and that 15,000 calories into your mind, you'd be like, what in the world did I do? Well, it's too late. You already ate it. But you know what? We have a God that we serve that as long as you're on this earth, it's not too late. It's not too late. So then, prepare your, verse 13, so then, prepare your hearts and minds for action. Stay alert. Fix your hope firmly on the marvelous grace that is coming to you. For when Jesus Christ is unveiled, a greater measure of grace will be released unto you. As God's obedient children, never again shape your lives by the desires that you followed when you didn't know better. <laughs> in the word. What I just said is in the word. It's in, you know, it's in here. Let me say that for the people in the back. As God's obedient children. Never again, never again shape your lives by the desires that you followed when you didn't know better. See, once your eyes are open to the world and once your eyes are open to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, you've got to shape your lives according to him. You can't just be like, a lot of people say they give their life to Christ. And of course we know, God bless you, Yolanda. God bless you, woman of God. We, um, people tend to go, well, I just gave my life, so I don't have to change my clothes yet. Uh, what? Huh? When you give your life, then things have to change. They've got to shift. And sometimes it does take a minute, but you've got to walk. Thank you, woman of God. You've got to walk in it. Don't make excuses for it once you know you may be wrong. Now, yeah, your heart got to be purified. Mm -hmm. Your heart got to be purified. It's got to, it's got to move and shift to some places. But there's nothing wrong with starting with the outside. 
There's nothing wrong with starting with the outside. Glory to God. And if you know and your clothes are different, you can ask somebody for some different clothes. Because you want to be drawn closer to the Lord. And you know he's going to work on you day by day by day. Fifteen. Instead, shape your lives to become like the Holy One who called you. Yeah. Holy. For the scripture says you are to be holy. Why? Because I am holy. Mm, Jesus, that's for somebody right there. Rama Sikataya. Verse 17. Since you call on him as your heavenly father, the impartial judge who judges according to each one's work, live each day with holy awe and reverence throughout your time on earth. Mm. Mm, you call on him. I... Glory, hallelujah. You must live your life righteously and holiness. So, I have four points. We're going to go through those points. That's so powerful. Um, and, and each point has a scripture with it, right? And I want your lives to be blessed today because it's blessing me. It's keeping me. It, it keeps me. You know, when you have a vehicle, you don't just let your oil go to the grunge until it's out. It blows up your engine. You don't just wait till your gas gets totally empty. You'll never leave the house. When you have a new car, you don't just let the birds eat up the paint. You make sure you wash it. Because you'll have a nasty, beat up looking new 2021 vehicle. And it looked like it was bought 10 years ago. My sister Terry, God bless you. So, you see what I got on, sis? I don't know if you see it because I'm, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, you got to take care of this. It's got to be holiness. So, number one, where is your passion for Christ? Where is it? Do you have it tucked away somewhere? Does it have dust on it? Do you pull it out every now and then? Where's your passion? Do you pull it out when you're not mad? You say, well, I'm mad today, so I'm going to leave the Lord on the shelf. He wouldn't leave you on the shelf. So why should you leave him on the shelf? Come on. 1 Peter 2, 11 and 12. And this is also um, the passion. And I'm going to let you know when it's different. Okay? See, I, I want you guys to take care of yourself. You cannot keep backtracking. God bless you, sis. You can't keep backtracking. You got to at some point go forward. Mm. My divinely loved friends, since you are resident aliens and foreigners in this world, I appeal to you to divorce yourselves from the evil desires that rage, wage war within you. You got to divorce your flesh. You got to stop thinking with your flesh. Thank you, Lavanya. God bless you, sis. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much. Where is your passion for Christ? So, you got to divorce yourself from evil desires. You got to divorce yourself from, you know... Living with somebody who's not your husband yet or your wife yet. You got a divorce from uh, um, being sad all the time when you know God can help you with your sadness. You got a divorce from your flesh. You, it, that's what the Bible says. It rages war within you. In other words, if you're still thinking with your flesh... You're, you're, you're never going to die to the spirit. You're never going to die and, and be with God and be, be resurrected to be with him. You're going to be left right here behind seven years of tri tribulation. Seven sounds like a small little number, but it's not when tribulation comes. When the blood waters show up and you can't, all fish die. You have no food unless you store up food. You have to run for your life in these seven years. Locusts as big as your head. I'm just saying. 
judgment day come, you're by yourself. You can't say, well, let me call the prophetess Hope because she know I was a good person. He was like, well, that's the problem. You was, you call yourself just, you was a good person, but what did you do for me? Did you, did you release that thing? I realized in these past days, and let me be a little transparent. I realized in these past days that I had, I released something. Okay. I released it. It is a long time. <laughs> I released something. The war was serious when I released it. But I said, okay, God, I release. After that, I had a, still a little battle, a couple of days. That's normal. But then I found myself. I found myself still in it. Mm, how was that? Because I kept pulling on it and saying, oh, this, that, and this is wrong, that's wrong, that's not right, da, 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 this, da, da. look at that, that ain't, uh, uh, uh. And I said, okay, wait a minute, though, where is God in all of this? Where is, I should have, if I left it, leave it. I don't want to be sitting in Sodom and Gomorrah and getting burned up, and I don't want to be a pillar of salt. God bless you, prophetess Nancy. Hallelujah. So I realize and recognize that in my holy walk, well, this is part of being holy. In my holy walk with God, how can I focus on him if I'm focusing on that thing that he told me to release? I was obedient to release it, but was I really? Not really, because I still was holding on to, I was holding on to the strings. And still talking about it. And still giving it glory. And still admonishing it when it was the thing that it caused, that caused God to be angered. And then God tells me, it's time for you to release it. And I'm still holding on to it. Oh, I'm free. It's deliverance, honey. I got delivered from, from that thing. Because I realized that it was, I, I, I'm not idolizing it. But yet, it's winning over me. I don't want it to win over me. I don't want the devil to have no dominion over me whatsoever. And guess what happens? I miss the blessings that God gives to me. Glory to God. I had to share that with you for somebody. But I know that my obedience set me free. But to be freer, I had to stop talking about it. I had to stop giving it its glory. When I need to give glory to God, and he's going to handle that. All oh, glory to God. Live honorable lives. Verse 12. Live honorable lives as you mix with unbelievers, even though they accuse you of being evildoers. So that means that when you're mixed in with unbelievers, which we are, you still have to be honorable to the Lord, no matter what. You don't have to be friends with the evildoers. You don't have to be friends with them because they because they did this to you, that to you. You ain't got to be friends with them. God, uh, God never said just be friends with them. He said, uh, forgive them. And live honorably, live holy. For they will see your beautiful works and have reason to glorify God the day he visits us. Mm. Yes, ma'am, Diane. Yes, ma'am, intercessor. Mm -hmm. So the notes I have, doubt has no room. That's it. That's it, Sophia. That's it, sis. Be the light in the dark world. Live honorably. Live holy. Hallelujah. Doubt has no room in the end. Doubt has no room. In the end of faith. Faith suffocates all doubts. Your faith suffocates all doubts. And you know when you suffocate something, it has to die. Woo! I felt that right there. Faith suffocates all doubts. You say you love God, but go through the Bible, make you a checklist. And say, am I living in sin or am I living according to his promises? Mm. Number two, do you really resist the devil? This is 1 Peter 5 
8 to 11. 1 Peter 5. And those of you who are just um, coming in, are you really ready? And we're doing this out of the, the this is the passion uh, version. So 1 Peter 5, 8 to 11. There's my little person, my beautiful woman of God that put that on the screen. Can you go back here and put that on the screen for us, sister? Yes. <laughs> to God be the glory. If not, anybody can. I want y'all to study these scriptures. Really study them and check yourself. Now I say check yourself at the door. Check yourself for you wreck yourself. That's a true statement. <laughs> so 1 Peter 5, 8 to 11. We're in the tra the um, the, tra uh, the uh, TPT. The um, Passion Bible. Be well balanced and always alert because your enemy, the devil, roams around incessantly, incessantly, like a roaring lion looking for its prey to devour. Take a decisive stand against him and resist his every attack. With strong, vigorous faith. You hear that? There's that faith again. There's that faith again. For you know that your believing brothers and sisters around the world are experiencing the same kinds of troubles you endure. And then after your brief suffering, y'all see that right there? It's in the Bible. Suffering. It's there. The God of all loving grace who has called you to share in his eternal glory in Christ will personally and powerfully restore you and make you stronger than ever. I'm getting excited. Boy. <coughs> glory to God. Yes, he will set you firmly in place and build you up. And he has all the power needed to do this forever. Amen. His loving grace, y'all. Receive his loving grace tonight. Receive his loving grace. All his power. It says he will personally, you know, it's nothing like a personal touch. You can have a personal driver, you can have a personal maid, you can have a personal um, hairstylist, a personal makeup artist, a personal uh, manicurist. He's personal. He's personal. And not only is he personal, he's, he's personal, he's powerful. All powerful, all knowing, he's everywhere. I get excited about that when I know that God's grace is sufficient. In my weak places. In my suffering. Because I'm suffering for him. Active temptation. Will nullify your room in heaven. Oh God. Active temptation. Will nullify your room in heaven. Active temptation. That means that. When somebody tells you you're beautiful, they love you, and, and, and then they were like, you start kissing, it's okay, I got protection. Baby, if that's not your husband, <laughs> if that's not your wife, active temptation. Oh, we can just live together and um, be okay. I won't touch you. <laughs> Talk about temptation. <laughs> My God. Active temptation. When you was out in the streets and you was drinking a lot. And they say, come on. This comes about. We'll make sure you don't drink nothing. Just come and have fun. Come on now. If you're not fully delivered. If you're not fully delivered from that world. Then don't go near that world. Let God deliver you. And at the most part, stay away from it. But you'll also find yourself ministering to those who will like you want, once. 
So tonight I declare restoration, deliverance over you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People will make you mad because you see them. You see them. You look at me and I can smile at you and give you happiness and you can feel the joy of the Lord. You can feel the joy on me. But then if I'm like, er, it, it, it hits you. That's what the devil wants. But if you look at me and you see me smiling, I want you to say, there's Jesus in that woman of God. She is a woman of God. There's Jesus in her. There's love in her. There's purity in her. There's, she got, her life just represents everything she ministers. I see that. But then if I'm like, er, this where that other temptation comes in at. You want to fight back. The battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. In other words, you use the word of God to fight back. He's, he's your battle. The battle is the Lord and not yours. So his word is your... <laughs> he tells you in Ephesians 6 to, to, to get everything in order. Your helmet, your belt, your, 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 your sword... Hallelujah. Mm. Your sword. Come on. Get all that. Get everything. Get your shoes right. Come on. Get your shield of faith right. Come on. Come on. He getting you, he's getting you prepared for battle. And you've got to trust him that you are already victorious in Jesus' name. Oh, that's powerful right there. That's good right there. It's a fixed fight. We already won. David and Goliath, fixed fight. David already won. He didn't look at, he didn't just look at Goliath and this gigantic 18,000 foot man with all this big voice and he beat up everybody. He had the strength of God in him. Can you imagine if David went out there with a doubt? That would be the story. He got smushed by the giant. You gotta look, you don't, he took a little pebble. And God said, take a mustard seed. That's for somebody right there. He took a pebble. He picked up the pebble. And all God is saying, get that mustard seed. So if we represent David with the pebble, we have mustard seed faith to cancel out Goliath and live holy. We've got to live holy. He will have holiness in him. Holiness defeated the enemy. You understand that? Do y'all get it? That's why there's a call for holiness because the holiness defeats the enemy. Jesus defeated the enemy because he was holy. Yes, Lord. So you got instructions on what to do when somebody on your nerves. You got to like, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, whatever that is, God, remove it out of them, Lord. Lord, make them, Lord, just remove me from this place, God, in Jesus' name. But God, touch them, Lord, that they'll understand, God, that they've got to get into a holy place, Lord. I love them, but I'm going to love them from a distance because I'm not going to let them wreck my chances to get into heaven, in Jesus' name. Oh, that's good right there, says the holiness is what I long for. Yep, that's a beautiful song. Yes, that is a beautiful song. Oh, I love that. Hallelujah. Um, so, <sighs> glory. Mm, God is so good right now. Da ba sikitai, kana ma sikitika, koti handi shatai tabasai. Number three. Do you realize suffering is necessary to rise up? Mm. Upon this rock, I build my church. Mm. Do you know that suffering, do you realize it, that it's necessary to rise up? Hmm. 1 Peter 3, 
13 to 15 and 1 Peter 2, 20 and 21. 1 Peter 3, 13 to 15 and 1 Peter 2, 20 21. That's it. Suffering is necessary to rise up. Mm. Woo! That's what's so powerful about this title of these Thursdays. The blood still works. <laughs> God, I feel God on that. Yes, Lord. The blood still works. So, we're going to read that. I'm going to read this in the uh, the spirit field. Paper Bible. They say you paper. I love paper Bible. I really do. It's something about it. It's not about just touching the paper Bible. Woo, Jesus. So, First Peter, third chapter. Make sure I'm reading right. And the thirteenth through the fifteenth verse says, "And who, who is he who will harm you if you become followers of what is good?" But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed. <laughs> and do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled. Verse 15, but, I, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready Always, always be ready. Always be ready. Always be ready. What's the title? Are you really ready? Mm. Yes, Lord. I hear you, God. I hear you. I hear you. Always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is within you. With meekness and fear. That means humbleness. And the fear of God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God. Look at your lives. Go through the word. Make a list. Am I walking right? Am I dressing right? Am I speaking right? Am I allowing people to get to me? To mess up my righteous place? So-and-so may say something, but I'm not going to let them get to me. We got to suffer. But rise up. Rise up. That's beautiful. Humbleness and the fear of God. That's right. Slow to speak. Quick to hear. Some people want to speak faster than they listen. And I'm talking about to God. Cause somebody be on your face like, blah, 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 blah. you be like, Father, give me, just silence them and let me, let me be still in your presence. That's why you, that's why people make folks mad when they be like trying to fuss at them and they're like, oh, you're not responding. Well, why? Patty LaBelle, I'm not gonna respond. I'm not gonna take another chip out of my, per my purchased ticket from Jesus to go to hell for you. Not going to do it. That's what that's about. Now, 1 Peter 2, 20 to 21. Let me make sure I'm right again. 2, 20, 21. This Bible good right here. It's blessing me. My God, my God. I hope it's blessing you. I pray that you will turn your, anybody life ain't right, make it right. If, it's, if you're not sure, <laughs> step right in it. Because he said what? Don't be lukewarm. Be hot or cold. Make up your mind. In Jesus' name. So 20, uh, 1 Peter 2, 20, 21. For what credit is it if, if when you are beaten for your faults, when you're beaten for your faults, you take it patiently? There's a question mark right there. For what credit is it if when you are beaten for your faults and you take it patiently? I think I just said that right there. I think I just said that right there. And it's in the Bible. Holy Spirit is speaking tonight. But when you do good and suffer, 
if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. This is commendable. Oh, God, don't you want God to be pleased with every fiber of your being? If you hear with your worship and praise, take it higher. If you hear with your worship and praise, take it higher. Right? Come on now. For to this you were called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. My God. Boy, that's a good word right here. I'm blessed, y'all. Whew. Whew. I know I unpacked a lot so far, but it's all good and it's all leading to, are you really ready? Some of us get complacent. And when we get complacent, guess what? That gives us a chance to get eaten up. Okay, I watched a movie a long time ago. Riddick. <laughs> that movie's ugh. But I watched a movie, right? And the thing is, when they sat still, the enemy had a greater chance of pouncing on them. But he said, really said, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. No matter what, the enemy was after them. And he said, if you stay right here, we become lunch. Do you want to be lunch? Or do you want to keep moving? You want to serve the enemy lunch? Here, have mine. I'm not going to finish it. Here, have my lunch. Have my dollar for my lunch. You know, back in the elementary school, mama sent me home with a dollar, dollar for lunch. I don't know. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you have to keep it moving. Because once you stop, the lion will devour you. And then you have to fight unnecessarily. I don't want no unnecessary battles in my hands. I don't. I don't. Glory to God. That is so powerful. I love that part in, four, in 21. He said, for to this you were called. Why? Because Christ also suffered for you. To this you were called because he suffered for you. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for suffering for me. Help me crucify my flesh <laughs> so that I can suffer continuously for you and not put my own self in the hands of the enemy. But I can hear your instructions. I'm letting you know. It's time to rise up. Suffering is necessary to rise up in the Lord. Suffering is necessary to receive those heavenly blessings. Glory to God. Can, and in this same three, number three, continue to worship and praise Jesus, no matter what it looks like. Say no to evil. Say no to the access of temptations. It might look good, but it's poisonous. Glory to God. Mm. And you celebrate as a person looking forward to your inheritance. God, I can't wait to get to my inheritance. I can't wait to get to my inheritance. I love you, Lord, I love you. I can't wait to get to my inheritance. So, Lord, tell me what to do. How can I live holy? How can I live right? Oh, I thank you, Lord, for you are my light. No more darkness in my life. I fear no more, no more. No more doubts. Just faith that I will receive my inheritance. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, I celebrate your name, Jesus. I celebrate you, Jesus, today. Come on, let's keep going. 
Number four, you will reap God's just reward in your inheritance. He said, I'll go, I have to go so I can prepare many mansions. We work so hard for mansions here on earth. But what about the mansions that will never wither? They'll never fade. You don't need in, you don't need insurance on them. You don't need no flood. There ain't no flood zones. Ain't gonna be no sinkholes. Hot dust shakoed up. I ain't gonna be no rotting wood. Come on, come on. Oh, beautiful glass. Oh, beautiful love. Your roof won't cave in. Just light. You will reap your just reward. Job 42 and 10. Let us not forget his suffering. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. <laughs> Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice. As much as he had before. And the Lord restored. Come on. Restore, restore, restore. I call restoration on you. I call restoration on you. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Oh my God. Mm. Job 42 and 10. And we know his friends was like, man, what you doing? If it was me, I would be towed up, mad at God, jacked up. You know, I'd be sad. I'm like, what? <laughs> what you doing, man? I mean, what you do at birth? Did you do something in your mama's womb? Did, you, did she do something? What? What happened? No, we didn't. He didn't do nothing. He said, he said, consider my righteous man, Job. The, the man got four messengers in probably a 30 minute span if that long five minutes back to back to back saying you lost your cattle you lost your land you lost your house you lost your children and your wife you lose the heart because she told me i curse god and die who gonna do that now did joe did joe grow weary in the suffering of course he did he's human that he didn't give up on god though so we're gonna grow weary but don't grow weary in your well-doing. In other words, don't stay there. Don't, don't stay right there. He didn't stay right there. He, he got a little weird. I mean, if you scratching sores with a glass, you can pick up glasses like they, you got to, eh. There's somebody out there that's worse off than you. So you got to give God glory. And that's good right there, Sister Sophia. Do it again. Repent. Restore. Receive. Just keep telling God, um, uh, uh, God, whatever I might have done. But look, don't do it on purpose and then say, well, I'm just going to repent and he's going to forgive me. Honey, the Lord could come at the same time that you're talking about he going to forgive me. And you got an answer for that? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, I ain't playing with y'all tonight. I'm not playing with y'all tonight. My God. So are you ready? Are you really ready? Wait on the Lord. They that wait. 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 On the Lord. He promised to fill our storehouses up. So much that we have to. We don't have enough. They that wait on the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings of eagles. Come on. The wings of eagles? Have you ever seen an eagle fly? Fly high. Fly high above. Oh, God, he's so holy. Yes, Lord. So this is a call, a clarion call to holiness. And tonight, I need your lives to change. I need you to stop wallowing in your in your sad and sick places. Yes, it hurts. I know about pain. But I know about my greatest gain. is the, 
the blood of Jesus. The blood still works, y'all. The blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. Yes, it does. It'll never fail you. The blood forgave you. In spite of. Be bold for Jesus and tell your friends, I'm sorry, I love you, but if you're not coming from with me to study, to love the Lord, then I don't need you. I'm going to love you, I'm going to pray for you, but I don't need nothing weighing me, weighing me down. Hallelujah, glory to God. God bless you, Janice, Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome. Hallelujah. That's it. It will never lose its power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you have a prayer request, put it up. I pray that this has blessed you. I pray that this bless your life because it blessed mine. It bless mine. It bless my life. I want to be holy. I want to be holy. Please share this. And I pray that somebody will watch this from the beginning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to pray. I'm just waiting for a few people to put their prayers on the wall if they like. Um, I know I still want to continue to solicit prayers for my sister evangelist Kedis Care for her family in Jesus' name. And to remind you, July the 24th, we'll be doing a resurgence. It's a prayer call. The woman of God said she wasn't going to do it, but the Holy Spirit said something else. Yes, Lord. Okay. Okay, let me look. Hallelujah. Let me look. Glory to God. Lavanya. Thank you so much, woman of God, for putting those notes up there. Whew! This, ooh! 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 Mm. 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 Jesus. Tonight is the night that your flesh will have its funeral <laughs> and the resurrection of God shall be in you favor abundance of favor upon you I prophesy tonight I prophesy tonight that God will restore you he will call you into be into greater places in him no matter what your life looks like no matter how much hurt you've come against i prophesy that god will rise you up hallelujah that you won't be in the grave but your flesh will oh glory to god lord abasi kanere shataya orarabasakataya namasai yes lord hallelujah Glory to God. Okay. Hallelujah. So any um, prayer requests? I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, okay, Father. Okay. Liz, family. And God use. Glory to God. Healing Yolanda. Healing. Divine healing on this side for my mother. So healing for your mom. Okay. Glory to God. 
Let's see if Janice, more of him, let's see. Uh, yes, Lord. So it's a neurological, okay. Okay. Weight loss. Thank y'all so much. Sophia King, I'm reminded of the song and the scripture said, Who is the King of Glory? Lord God, mighty in battle. You have been battling, Sophia King, my sister. You have been battling. Yeah. Who is the King of Glory? Lord God, mighty in battle. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord God is mighty in your battle, Sophia. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is going to, woman of God, hmm, God is going to do something in your life, Sophia, and you've got to let him. Hmm. you got to let him. Hmm. You've been battling for a while on something and even before your recent loss. And God says, I am here and I never left you. I am here and I never left you. Hallelujah. 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 Glow am I sick it hama sick at haya talado shadabasa kataya. O rabasa kataya no rabasa toya masakai. Yanada shikatu namasaya. So woman of God, I need you to minister to yourself in Psalms 24, Sophia. Your heart has been broken. But God said, I want to mend it if you let me. Purify you. I call you to be purified. It's time to walk in new shoes, woman of God. I see new shoes, new shoes, new shoes. New shoes, Sophia. New shoes. New shoes. I don't know why I keep hearing new shoes. New, 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 I promise I knew over you, Sophia. New heart. A new heart. And while I'm here, I'm hearing transplant. I don't know if anybody has to get a transplant. Of some kind or somebody you know because I hear transplant but Sophia God wants to give you a new thing and you've got to let him have his way glory to God so father in the name of Jesus I pray God right now I'm gonna go ahead and pray for the the closing out of, of this word Hallelujah, that, that you be holy 
and you live righteous with a pure heart. And remember that suffering, it just rises you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you for this word tonight, God, that your word went forth. And it calls the people of God to be changed instantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. So, Father, I pray for Liz right now, God, for her family, that whatever issues that she's having with them or that they're just having, God, that, God, you'll go in, God, and you'll fix it, God. You'll go in, God, and, and be a light, God, into their pathway, oh, God. Lord, strengthen them like never before. Everybody who's around her and her family and those who she calls family, God. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them, Lord. Lord, send her, Lord, comfort <coughs> in the midst of her storm, oh, God. For God, I call her free in Jesus' name. Lord, she wants you to use her according to your plan and your will for her, God. So I call her to be used right now in Jesus' name. So, Father, I pray right now for Yolanda's mother healing neurological uh, illness, Lord. We come against marine spirits. That is sitting on her mother's head. We call them out now in Jesus' name. We cut out every tentacle, God, that is squeezing the life out of her mother, Lord Jesus. We call right now your healing. We call the blood of Jesus in every cell, God. Hallelujah. Every vein in her mindset, God. That she will line up with heaven, God. And it shall be healed suddenly. We call a miracle uh, to her mother tonight, God. Lord, that after these enemy has let go, which they are doing right now, right now, right now, we declare it right now her to be healed. Things will begin to change uh, in her life, God. There will be a holiness and a, a praise and worship in her spirit because she's already, she's already healed and she's already victorious in Jesus' name. So we cancel it now by fire in Jesus' name. I see like electricity going to her her um, her mind, Yolanda. Um, like as if mm, it's like electric shocks. Um, it's kind of you know get her back and forth here and there in a lot of headaches, a lot of missteps. A lot of um, confusion. And so we break confusion now off of her right now in Jesus' name. We know there's no distance in the spirit in which the Lord cannot heal and miracles shall go forth. So I call a healing miracle to your mother right now in Jesus' name. I see in the realm of the spirit. Hmm. Your mother looking up to heaven and the angels tending to her healing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, I love you. Father, I pray for uh, Katara's supernatural weight loss in Jesus' name. Supernatural weight loss in Jesus' name. Supernatural. Hey, y'all can grab that. I, I'll take it. Supernatural weight loss in Jesus' name. Yes, we. There's the faith thing. Without faith, without works, faith is dead. So you still got to work at it. But I call God to do a supernatural where you ain't got to wait long time. That it'll happen suddenly in Jesus' name. That it'll happen suddenly in Jesus' name. That it'll happen suddenly in Jesus' name. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord, for who you are, God, in us, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Michelle, Michelle Daniels. Mm. Mm. 
-hmm. God said, if you just give God glory. See, y'all, we got the same. My middle name is Michelle. It's spelled the same way. My maiden name is Danley. And my mama was almost, she said she almost married a Dan, somebody last name Daniels. So I knew, <laughs> God already knew where it's supposed to go. But your worship is for real. Your worship is for real. And Michelle, if you give God glory right now, you're going to miss hell. Why? Because hell is standing at the door waiting on you. I don't know if you've been through some things, some trials and tribulations and stuff like that real heavy. Uh, I just feel like, you know, like like I see your last name, Daniels, and and, the, and I see the lion's den. Hallelujah. Because you, because you wanted to pray. You wanted to worship. They want to put you in the lion's den so the lion can seek it to, so they can devour you like instantly. But that didn't happen to Daniel in Jesus' name. And so, Michelle, you missed it. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But I feel the glory. 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 Hallelujah. So, Michelle, you put the fires up there. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, I see your fires, Michelle. Boy, you've been through so much. But I think of the fire. I think about our refiner, first of all, Jesus Christ. And then uh, I think about the Hebrew boys. God has gone into the fire with you. That's why you're still here. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I call peace to my sister Lavanya. The peace that surpasses all understanding. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. I don't know if anybody had any trouble with their legs. Because I'm hearing legs. Mm. And back. Mm, mm, mm. Legs and back. Michelle, you will suffer no more, woman of God. Michelle, you will suffer no more. <laughs> you will suffer no more in Jesus' name. Her legs and back in Jesus' name. So, Father, I glorify you tonight, Father, as I pray for the, um, the people of God. Father, I thank you right now, God. In your name, Jesus. Ah. Okay. So, Father. Mm. Ashley, I see you in the realm of the spirit. Mm. You're so tired. It's like your hands are out. And there's oil being poured into your hands and you're laying them on the legs. So your instructions are to get some oil and lay hands upon your husband. Father Jesus, I thank you, God, that he will no longer have trouble with his legs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And his back. Be healed before it gets worse in Jesus' name. Yeah, We thank you, God, for the healing, God. Hallelujah. Devil, you are liar from the pit of hell. You leave the people alone. Let my people go, says the Lord. In Jesus' name, you begin to, I don't know who this is for, but you've been feeling really stressed lately. And God right now is releasing a release. 
release and restoration on you in his name, in Jesus' holy and righteous name. The blood still works. All I see in the realm of the spirit, this tightness, this stress place. Glory to God. Release, 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 release it, release it, release it, release it right now in Jesus. Let God have his way. I don't know who this is for, but you got to let God have his way in the name of Jesus. You've been under a lot of pressure. You've been under a lot of stress. In Jesus' name, God said, let him have his way. Glory to God. I plead the blood of Jesus on you right now. Glory to God. Ooh, he's releasing it. He's releasing it. He's releasing it. He's releasing it. Mm. I release that snake that's been choking you out. I release the snake that's been choking you out. I don't know who this is for, but I release the snake. It's like lately I hear cough. It's like somebody's been coughing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time. Hallelujah. For your deliverance in Jesus name. Somebody's been coughing. I see hallelujah. It's trying to strangle their vocal cords so they don't praise and they don't worship anymore. Anymore, but the devil is a liar from the pit of hell and I cut out the head of the snake in Jesus name right now I call a deliverance to you right now in Jesus name no more stress no more depression I feel it right here in the back of my neck in Jesus name you come out of them now somebody may start to yawn or somebody may start to cough that means your deliverance is nigh in Jesus Jesus name I cause a release I cause a release right now you come up and out in Jesus name up and out in Jesus name glory to God I thank you God let it go release it release it release it let go live free in Jesus name Yes, Lord, I'm a shikatai. Yes, that it is. I'm a shikatai. That I'm a shikatai. That I'm a shikatai. God said, let me have my way. You've been walking in your way way too long. Now it's time to release and be set free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm a shikatai. And I'm a shikatai. Woo, Jesus. You've been putting a band-aid on it. When God said, let me, see, let me heal it. Mm, that I'm a shikatai. Woo! Release them now. Release, release her. It called my sickatai. Uh, release her. Mm. Uh, I hear drainage. I don't know if anybody had any drainage because I'm feeling it come right now on me. Hallelujah. Drainage. Mm. Mm. Like serious. Uh, allergies or something. Mm. Begin to receive it. Mm. There's a healing going forth right now. There's a healing going forth right now. My hands are hot. Lord, somebody is feeling the heat of God. Somebody is feeling the heat of God. Yes, Charlene? When you say yes, what do you mean, love? Charlene Hunt, you said yes. I don't know why you just caught my attention. My hands are, there's a heat going forth right now. Somebody is feeling a heat right now in their body. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the heat. Receive the healing heat of God. Receive the healing heat of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Woo! I feel, I call a release right now. Oh. Mm. I call healing to you right now. You should be healing, Charlene, in Jesus' name. And Ashley. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Sylvia. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. I call healing in Jesus' name. 
right now to the lungs. I call it to the lungs. I call it to, to your daughter's lungs, Sylvia. I call it to your daughter's lungs in Jesus' name. I call healing in her in Jesus' name. Glory to God and grandson. Tonight, I speak a healing into them in Jesus' name that they will say, I don't feel sick anymore. In Jesus' name, right now, healing. Healing to Ashley right now. Release that drainage. Charlene, release drainage right now. How Hallelujah, glory to God. Begin to give God glory for your healing. Hallelujah, release it, release it, release it, release it. Every marine spirit that's put attack on the people, oh God. Hallelujah, I pull you off of them and I cut you up in many ways. In Jesus' name, every name that's put on the evil altar, we burn by fire. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, glory to God, that your healing is now, is now, it's right now, it's right now, it's done. It's done. It's done. Receive it. I feel a release on me. I feel a release. I feel a release. I feel a... Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel a release. Come on. I feel a release. Come on. There's a healing heat coming. There's a healing heat. Holy Spirit, wind of God, blow through their homes right now in Jesus' name, God, that their praise will go up higher, that their worship will go up higher, that healing is done. God, is by your power, not by my power. I'm just a temple, God. Lord, in Jesus' name, let their faith keep them whole. And make them be made whole in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Healing to Charlene. Healing to Sylvia's grandson and daughter. Healing. Healing to Elizabeth. Healing in Jesus' name. Healing. Healing, healing. Supernatural healing. Supernatural weight loss. Supernatural weight loss. I call the supernatural. I hear God say we're going to uh, supernaturally attack the fat that's stubborn. See, we have a stubborn fat in us sometimes. And so <laughs> we want God to attack that stubborn fat so that we can lose that weight. I hear the Lord say drink more water. Drink more water. Those of you who needed that healing, if you can, get, get yourself a, 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 a bottle of unopened water. If you can get to it. And, and, and when you get it, uh, put water on here. Okay? Just do that for me before we leave here. It is done. I want you to get me a fresh bottle of water. A fresh bottle of water. It doesn't have to be cold. It doesn't have to be warm. Just a fresh bottle of water. Just a fresh bottle of water. Just a fresh bottle of water. Okay, that's fine, Yolanda. Water for your mom. Get it. Mm-hmm. Because remember that it was by... He said... The, the 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 disciples could not help the man because they didn't have they had a lack of faith. So it's by your faith. All right, all right, prophetess. Uh, thank you. You got your water. Okay, Ashley, you got your water. Praise God. Let me write this down because I I don't need neurological issues because I like forgot who was what. So Ashley. Nessie, Renee, hallelujah, Charlene, yes, Lord, hallelujah, you can go get it if you need to get it, okay, got Ashley, I'm going to do this, uh, Yolanda, for her mom, praise God, okay, when you get your water, put water on here. All right, Katara, water. Praise God. Now, I know there's 16 of y'all on here, but um, I'm going to give it about one more half a minute um, for those who I prayed for to get water. I got you, Ashley. I got you, love. Praise God. God is doing something in here. This this word, I... I Mm, I hear God saying repeat and replay. Some of you need to repeat, and uh, if not all of you need to repeat this and replay it 
and really get this in your system. Let the anointing, I feel the anointing on me. I feel the anointing on me. I love Jesus so much. And I want everybody to get to heaven. So I work so hard to do it. Because I want them to get to, I want y'all to get to heaven. And I want y'all to be healed here on earth. Holiness, are you really ready? Okay, so I want you to get your water and I want you to just hold your water and I'm going to pray over your water. Hold it up. This is going to be a water communion with the Lord. Okay, I don't, I don't have my fresh bottle, but we'll, we'll do this. Okay, so hold your water up. Father, in the name of Jesus, there are those who have their water. The ones that have their water, God, I ask you to touch their water right now. Even though water says they, it is pure. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Even though their water, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the marketing says the water is purified. That's the earthly purification. I feel this so heavy. Mm. Mm. I hear the woman with the issue of blood. God is showing me the woman with the issue of blood instantly, suddenly. And so when 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 the water is done by the manufacturer, they call it pure. And you can put it against litmus paper and everything else. But litmus paper is not the same, hallelujah, as God's paper. Mm. So, Lord, I need you to reconstruct this water that they're holding, God. I need you to touch, God, put a touch from you in this water, God, that it will be purified to your heavenly standards, oh, God. Mm. Glory to God. That it will be purified to your standards in Jesus' name. Lord, just touch this water, God. It's a sign, God, of healing and your power and your personal love to us, oh God. Touch right now. My hands are hot in this water. You may feel a warmth in your hands. And that's because God is doing a thing. And so, Lord, remove all the impurities of the earth and place the impurities of your heaven and of your love and of your blood, your blood in here in Jesus' name. When they struck his side... It was blood and water. Mm. So right now, Father, with their faith to believe, as they drink this water, we commune with you, Lord, in the, in the atmosphere for healing. Healing for her mother on her behalf. Because you know we have intercessors, God. So intercede, God. Let her intercede by drinking this water on mother's behalf. And her mother says, I don't feel that. I, I, I got my, everything is together. I feel different. I feel vibrant in Jesus' name. So now, in the name of Jesus, open up your water. Now, you don't have to drink it all right now at once. Just make sure you drink the to the last drop. They say that it's good to the last drop. Drink it to the last drop. So go ahead and sip on your water. You should feel a cooling. Whew. Whatever could be ailing in me and I didn't know about it, God healed me. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord just... Okay, so we're going to do... We're going to do a communion with the blood and the, and I'm going to remi remind you, we're going to do it on the, on the next Thursday. We're going to do communion. So have all your communion stuff, your little cups with your crackers, or have you um, some, um, your own little grape juice. And if those of you struggle with alcoholism, you don't need no wine. <laughs> you can't help it. Glory to God. How do you feel right now? Can we get some praise right now? Can we get some hearts right now? How do you feel? When you drank that water, did you feel a cooling water? Did you feel God? What they say, cooling water like grandma's well? Did you feel that right there? Did you feel that living water flow through you? Healing coming through you in Jesus' name? It was by 
by your faith. Hallelujah. That set you free in Jesus name. Glory to God. Yolanda, I'm looking for you to have a, a message for me for about your mother in Jesus name. As a matter of fact, um, we can talk after and I can, and I can, uh, I can speak to your mom. We'll, we'll arrange something or something like that. You just let me know if that's what you want to do. Glory to God. Yes, ma'am. I'm feeling good. Glory to God. That's what I'm talking about. A testimony right now. Healing right now. Yes, prophets. Yes, Nessie, my sister. Yes, healing right now. I feel a release. Like God felt the virtue come out of him when the, when the woman with the issue just touched the hem of his garment. I feel God's him in this hour. In Jesus' name name. Glory to God. There's healing right now. Thank you for the immediately sudden testimonies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes. Pain in the back. Girl in Jesus name. Yes, Lord. Salvation is free. Pain in the back gone. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Jesus did it. He did it for me. Oh, he did it for me. Oh, he did it. Yes, he did. He did it just for me. He bled and died for me. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. He bled and died for me. Yes, he did. Jesus loves me that much that he stretched his hands out wide and he did it for me. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, the heaviness is gone. Glory to God. Miracles are working right now. He's a miracle working God. That's good, Michelle. He's a miracle working God. Yeah, I tell him my side. He's a miracle working God. I don't know if somebody has stomach issues, but they're healed right now. He's a miracle working God. Yes, he is. He's your burden bearer. Yes, he is. Oh, glory, 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 glory. He did it for me. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. He did it. He did it just for me. Restoration is your portion. Healing is your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he did it for the deaf, the blind, the bleeding, the, the sick one, he can do it for you. My God. Whew. I feel so released right now. And I just want to thank you all from the God, bottom of my God heart. I would always say the champion in you is Jesus Christ. You are a champion because the champion in you is Jesus Christ. You are a champion. Yes. First John 4, 4. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So greater is he that is in me is Jesus Christ in holiness. Are you really ready? Come to holiness. And if you left, God said it's okay. Come on back, children. Well, I love you. You're welcome. I love you with the love of Christ. And um, depending on what's going on, you... you uh, we might not be doing the Fresh Roll Fridays or the um, Saturation Saturday. Not sure. Um, I see what God says. Uh, we're getting ready to go into the glory. Um, so I want to be. I want to rise up some more so I can really, really get the people of God on the, on the Lord's side. Yes, 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 yes. And so thank y'all so much. Share this with your friends, please. Share this with your friends. Replay it for yourself. Really receive who God is for yourself. Not just because I said it, but because he said it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you. I love you too. And so until then, I'll see you. If I don't see you this weekend, I'll see you next Thursday. The blood still works. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Nessie. I receive that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Please like our thank you, honey. He's so awesome. He's so awesome. God bless y'all. I love y'all with the love of Christ. So uh, don't forget next Saturday, because I, I don't want I said it before, July the 24th. Uh, resurgence whew, from the Well Ministries. My wonderful, beautiful, powerful evangelist. My wonderful, beautiful, powerful evangelist, Kedis, will be doing the thing. <laughs> I'm so glad for her obedience. So July the 24th is actually tagged on my um, page. So, and I'll hopefully remind, um, I'll be able to remind you on Thursday as well. I'm looking for God to do something spectacular. So y'all have a blessed night. And until then, the blood still works. Holiness is right in Jesus' name. God bless you. Love, I give love bullets. Bye. <laughs>